stuffing Henry's head and attaching the ears. So you're going to um, take your stuffing, which I have a little bit here on the table. I'm sure I'll need much more than this. And we're going to start stuffing his head. We're going to put the stuffing in Henry through this small opening. Basically you just Put it in there and I use this tool to gently push the stuffing into the nose area. We want to stuff him fairly firm because when we're done stuffing him we're going to be inserting the disc and closing this opening. enough stuffing in here so that when you attach the ears and sew the facial expressions that you have some resistance when you're pushing on the bear. So you want it quite firm. Now you can go to the websites to where you can buy bear supplies and they do have different types of stuffing on there. Um, but I just use this one. This is an all-round stuffing that you can buy at any craft store or fabric store. You want to make sure it's pretty uniform so that Henry starts taking on the appearance of a bare face. stuff him either. So it's just through trial and error and how you want your bear to look. And we have to leave space on the bottom because this is where we're going to put the disc and then we're going to do a running stitch around the opening to close it shut to enclose the disc. brush him out later on because we want to blend in the seam lines. Feeling, feeling this to make sure we have the stuffing in where the seam allowances are. And just add a little at a time to where you feel that he has enough stuffing in his head and he has the right shape. You need a little more here to fill up this cavity area.
then I'm packing this stuffing in to make sure he has a nice rounded head. You can feel it getting pretty firm in here. Okay, I think we pretty much have Henry where we want want him as far as the stuffing is concerned. We want to make sure he has a nice round firm head and we want to save room at the bottom to gather the fur up and put our disc in. Okay we have Henry stuffed and we're ready to do a running stitch around here and insert the disc. Uh, what I want to talk about right now is the disc. We've used uh, a craft glue, which is good for cardboard and metal. We've glued it and let it sit 24 hours. Because when we insert this disc portion into the head, and this portion will be going into the body, we don't want the nut to spin in the head when we tighten it up to the body. So, this is the section that will be going into the head. The thread that I'm using is basically a heavy duty home decorating thread or upholstery thread. And I'm using a leather hand needle, which I'll be, the thread will be used around the top here. and I double the thread because I'm going to be pulling on it quite, quite a bit here and I don't want the thread to break. Okay, I come in from the underside to the back and I go in about a quarter of an inch from the edge. I just do a basic running stitch. What we're going to do is just gather this around the disc, which holds the disc, which will hold into the disc into the, the head section. Okay, I forgot to mention you want to leave a long tail on the end where you've knotted it and started inserting it into the fur. I've placed the disc in here and then you're going to finish the running stitch to where you started and then you'll be pulling on both of these ends to draw the opening closed and then I tie a knot. So here's the disc inserted. This is why I use double threads because we're going to be pulling on this quite a bit. As you see it closes the opening and your disc, the bolt is still sticking out and what I do is I wrap this thread around three times three you pull on it tight and then you can still snug it up and I do a couple more turns or knots so we've got that closed up and all we have sticking out is the bolt.
take these Begin threads and put it through your doll needle and then bury them in the bear's head, which is what I like to do. So you've got all your threads on your doll needle. And you just go in here. Basically come out anywhere you want. Excess thread, you don't really want to cut the bear's fur, but you just pull the thread against your scissors very gently. Cut your threads. There. Now we're ready to put Henry's ears on. Just as a precaution so we don't lose this inside the head once when we start um, doing the detail work, I just put the disc on here and just screw this nut down a couple spins and that holds it in place. Yeah.